Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Last time on Dragon Quest XI, we met an armada at sea, valiantly fighting a sea monster as we hoped to locate a sailor named Kai. Sadly, we didn't find who we were looking for, but the village threw us a party in our honor for felling the beast. At the party, we find a man named Kai, but it turns out he's the grandson of the man Michelle the mermaid is looking for. We relayed the news to Michelle, and she refused to believe us, instead insisting that we set up a meeting between them so she can see for herself. Now, Kai and the mermaid meet. Let's see how badly this goes. This is Dragon Quest XI. <laughs> Why have you brought me here? To kill you. That voice! It's music to my ears! I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling. Tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? Oh. What? You're a mermaid. Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't Come know on, me. I don't know daddy. you. You're not my darling boy. No, I'm not. The man you loved, he was my grandfather. But he's not here anymore. Oh, that's why we got the option to interact with that thing. <sighs> the dildo in the sand. I use this. My darling Kai. My one true love. The one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore? I used his grandfather's... I, I used the gravestone as a dildo? Whoops. I didn't know. Oh, how could I forget when I didn't know chat. lived 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. Yay! <sighs> Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the selfsame island where we met. Oh, we don't have to go under sea. We, she, it's just going to be there on the island. That's kind of cheap. I kind of wanted to like have some like underwater I'm level to explore. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Oh, is she going to? No, she's not. <gasps> but she'll get the foamy vagina, though. You guys, she's gonna get a foamy vagina. Is she gonna do it? Michelle sings a bewitching medley that reverberates off the cliffs above. So if they if they start walking on land, they turn into a human, but then if they get wet again, they foam. So we've been saying that she's gonna get a foamy vagina. Yeah, the guy standing in the back is the main character, Delirious. This is how all British people I sound. <laughs> for you so, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together. She is not gonna seppuku. No. Is she really gonna. She isn't gonna do this, is she? Is she gonna get a foamy vagina? Oh no. No, not with the foamy but no, no! You've got your granddad's hands, you know. So soft, yet strong and honest. The hands of one who'd never, ever make a faithless promise. And then it rains and then she dies. A mermaid <laughs> who sets foot on land will perish in the brine. Wow, man. And that's all right. I 
got to meet my darling one last time. Oh. If I had been a human, or if he had been like me, perhaps we could have lived together, happy as can be. But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say goodbye. Oh shit, she's really gonna do it? Oh my god. Foamy vaginas! Foamy vaginas! Oh no. Aww. She fucking seppuku'd. Oh shit. You're dead. Her voice is a little annoying though, yeah. I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! What? <sighs> the fuck? Alright, let's go see what that was all about. How could he have seen her before at Grandpa's cabin? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Finally she's gone wild, Dammy. Listen, that was sad though! That was kind of sad. Oh, he did a painting. He painted her. Aww. Oh, this is sad. God, this is such a fucking bummer. No happy endings here. Hmm. What's this? A letter? This is Grandpa's handwriting. What's it say? Dearest beloved, ever since you saved me on the day of the great storm, the dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. <laughs> right, Michael. <laughs> it's like, now that she's fucking With dead. With her father and husband gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief, she could not hear me. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. Rip. A lot of people dying around here. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. Kai? Huh? Huh? You're sure you're fine to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. Pain and again do not rhyme. Listen here, Brits. Listen here, Brits. Pain and again, do not rhyme. You hear me? You hear me? Are we on the same page here? All right. All right. I'm glad. I'm glad we we have an understanding. <laughs> again, get the fuck out with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. <laughs> My <God. sighs> Maybe I need to say it again? Again? No, May, come on now.
It's all my fault. <laughs> That's an expensive little I'm turd sorry, you're holding Michelle. there, buddy. I, I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs me. Oh, that's sad. Ah, oh, man. The villagers say you put a curse on me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. You have to forgive them. They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all. And what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock, still waiting for me to return. But it's too late for me now. I'll never make it back there. I'll understand if you can never forgive me. But I want you to know one thing. I love you. I always will. Ah, this is so fucking depressing. Jesus. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. Without you, I'd never have known all of this. Never met Michelle. <laughs> wow, delirious. Jesus Christ. All this time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. He really loved her. Wow. Wow. All right, well. Sorry for making you do all that stuff for me and my family, but... Thanks. Because of you, my eyes are finally open. In my heart of hearts, I think I hated my grandpa more than I hated the mermaid who cursed him. I was... shamed. But now I know the truth. He wasn't cursed. He was in love. Aww. Aww. I wonder what that thing says now when we interact with it. I'll probably say what it is. Gravestone is... Yeah, no, it's the same shit. Oh, okay. I figured it would be like, oh, this is... Kai's grandpa's stone or whatever, you know? Nope. Aw, damn me. First love, tomato, tomato. <laughs> Whoops! Did I just... How is it... Wait, how is it suddenly daytime again? Okay, whatever. Uh, let's break it! I'm throwing a fit. Uh, really quick... No, you know what? We're good. Stone line's a real beach. Basically. Uh, actually, yeah, I think we're probably good to teleport. I don't, it doesn't look like there's anything waiting for me. So, let's go back to the strand. See you later, bitches! Alright, here we go. Here we fucking go. Oh my god, it's the thing. Hold on, before we actually get the thing, I want to grab this real quick. Shit keeps respawning, and I need the things for crafting. Is this going to be it? Probably, right? Lorelai's harp? What? There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Dagomar takes it out and begins to read. Dear friend, if you are reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can cunt! I told you I wasn't going to make it rhyme anymore, chat. Thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I've ever penis-faced! I promise that I'd take you to the mermaid seabed town. Though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you... Cunt nugget! You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea. 
sail over it and strum that harp to meet her cuntalicious. Please tell the queen I'm happy now and there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling bitch face. Perhaps one day we'll meet again. But for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the... This isn't going to rhyme. Yours sincerely, Shell. Unfollow and sub. <laughs> Listen, you all were complaining so much about the rhyming. All right, I fixed it for you. I fucking fixed it for you, chat. Deal with it. Deal with it. Oh, you liked it. <laughs> I sound like I have Tourette's. Aw, Tourette's. Uh, I'm really glad I don't have... Could you imagine? Could you imagine if I had Tourette's? Jesus Christ, the things that would come out of my mouth. Oh no. <laughs> I'm really I'm really glad I don't. I feel really bad for people who live with Tourette's. That shit is serious. That shit is really serious. Uh, yeah, let's go back aboard the stallion. So I wonder how this works. I wonder if we can just, like, use it, you know? Important items, probably. Lorelei's heart. An instrument of the ancient that allows access to the... Yeah. Towering pillars of light. Okay, I know exactly where we gotta go. I know exactly where we gotta go. We gotta go in here. We gotta go in... Oh. Okay, this is starting to make sense. You guys see the pillars of light? Okay. So there's like a whole underwater area too. Yeah, I, I hear you. Thanks, Dammy. I, uh, there's like a whole underwater area. And so like some of these lakes that where you, it looks like you can dock, we actually have to use the underwater area to get to those lakes so that we can dock in those areas. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, I'm going to first though, I don't know, where, where should we go? Let's go to Hoto for funsies. Just for funsies. We're gonna teleport the whole fucking ship. Whee! We are gonna do some docking. You guys ready to see some hot docking action? Some really super hot docking action? Yeah. Alright. So. Uh, Degamar is going to go zoom, zoom, zoom. And go out to sea. Um, we need to go... Where is it? This one? Yeah. Zwardrust C. Because that's where we saw the pillar of light, right? It's like a giant pillar of light shooting out of the ocean. I'm pretty sure that that's what we use to go down below. That's where we're going to go use to go down, chat. Really quick, though, I'm going to change my lineup. I don't like that Dagomar is not in there. Uh... I'm gonna swap out there. Um, and, uh, uh, hmm. Jade, we could keep Jade. I think for now, though, I'm gonna swap out with Veronica. And I really like Silvando, though. So, I'm gonna swap out Eric with Silvando. Um, if we have, like, a big boss that we need to have that damage over time on, I can swap out Eric real quick. It's fine. So, there we go. All right, yep, there it is. The big shaft. The big shaft that we gotta play with. Here we go, we're gonna play with this shaft. There's a pillar of light on the surface of water. Play Lorelei's harp. Yes. Play Lorelei's harp. Here we go, let's see what this looks like. I think we're about to go fucking underwater, chat. I wonder what this looks like. This is gonna be crazy. We love a big shaft, yes we do. <laughs> We're not size queens, but it's nice when they're big. These, these lights, these light shafts, of course. I'm not talking about anything else. Perverts. <laughs> um, oh, hey, it's our ship. It, we sank our ship, chat. We're fucked. We're fucked. All right, hello. Are you going to froth at your vagina, too? Welcome to the seabed realm. Oh, humans from on high. It has been many centuries since last York Hind dropped by. Oh no! It wasn't just her! All mermaids rhyme! No! <laughs> Chat! It's gonna be a whole fucking stream of this shit! 
<laughs> They're all gonna arrive! <laughs> oh no, if you should miss the air above, just tell me and I'll send you. I have the power to summon bubbles, one of which I'll lend you. Well, travelers, what say you? Shall I put my plans in motion and send you and your ship back to the surface of the ocean? No. A rhyming stream is Dagon's worst stream. It is! It is, Hansel! You'll get the alcohol? Good call, Jason. Good call. I should probably put some alcohol in my uh, coffee, turn it into an Irish coffee. You're staying then? In that case, Nautica is through that cave. I hope you have a fine time in the land beneath the waves. Did that one rhyme? Or maybe I just read it wrong. The rainbow gro glows brightly. One of the orbs must be nearby. Hell yeah. Yay. All right, so we're on the right track to get this uh, pearl necklace. Ha! <laughs> Thendor. Wow. I think you, uh, you triggered the mods, Thendor. <laughs> this is pretty, if nothing else. Even if we do have to put up with rhymes, right? Crevens, this place is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in mermaid town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here, I guess we can find out if that story about the giant pearl is just an old wives' tale or not. Finding the orb is important, but we need to talk to the Queen first. We have to tell her about Michelle. Yep. All right, here we go. Welcome all to Nautica, the realm beneath the foam. You're Queen Marina's honored guest, so make yourselves at our house. I'm gonna purposely make it not rhyme. The music of the mermaids has the power to ease your pain. Are you in some in some discomfort? Shall I sing a soothing strain? Uh, sure. Okay, so it heals us, I guess. Oh, it completely restores MP and HP. Oh, so we don't. It's like it's like an inn, except we don't have to fucking pay for it. That's kind of nice. Oh yeah, this place does not have an inn. It has a bank. It has a store. All right. In all my two score and 2010 years, I've never talked to a human till today. You must be the guest Queen Marina mentioned. It's her majesty's magic that lets you breathe below the water. A special service for our guests of honor. Without it, you'd be goners. She awaits you in her pearly palace in the pinnacle of the prominence. I speak, of course, of the tower at the top of the hill. It's like he tries, but he he can't. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, is a shark shopkeeper? Are you kidding me? The shopkeeper is a shark. That's amazing. Oh, and is it a different thing depending on where you stand? That is so cute. This is so cute. You trust him? <laughs> Uh, you're watching Endgame in 10 minutes? Only annoying thing today is hasn't been delivered. Oh, that sucks then, Dorbe. Oh my god. Have you seen? Is this your first time seeing Endgame? You're gonna really enjoy it. I hope you, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, how come our boobs don't float? There is, there, they have different anatomy. And so I almost said autonomy. I'm like, no, that's not the right one. You're gonna fall asleep to with all these rhymes? Oh my god, Amrithia. It's like I'm reading you a bedtime story, right, Amrithia? Oh, Thendor, enjoy. Enjoy. It's such a good movie. Such a good movie. Does the shark give you loans? Kind of. There's no reply. It doesn't seem to understand what Dagomar is saying. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Welcome to Rainbow's End Bank. Your balance currently stands at a metric fuck ton of gold coins. What would you like to do? I would like to deposit. I would like to deposit to the seamen. Deposit seamen. All right, here we go. All right, we did it. We deposited to the seamen. All right, uh, let's see if we can talk to this shopkeeper. The mermaid, so she should understand us, right? Doesn't matter what you are. Fish, squid, mermaid, or man. All I care is that you buy as much stuff as you can. 
I have a, a I have so much coin right now. So much. Pearl hairpin. Uh let's see. Soft port. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot, do they? They do have medicine though. It's kinda nice. Might get a, a couple of these guys though. Um who is going to carry this for us? Mm, probably Dagonmar. Yes. Yes, I'm gonna put away that, I think. Alright, uh nope, it's good. We're good. Bye bye. <laughs> but you know. There's a book here. I wonder if they use regular ink, right? There's a hand-drawn book entitled Living With Me Under the Sea with Tukai, my guy, from Michelle, your bell. Aww. This is so sad. Oh, Kai, I just can't wait to live with you beneath the sea. A few rules just to help you settle in more easily. First, don't panic. Take it slowly. Breathe a nice deep breath. Oh, hey, this is also like a guide for bottoming. So if you ever wonder how to bottom, this is this is also pretty good advice. Don't panic. Take it slowly and breathe nice and deep. It's educational, chat. It's educational. All right. I'm not breaking TOS. This is an educational stream. <laughs> not actually, but actually. <laughs> Panicking while swimming is a recipe for death. Next, no teasing. Just because a fish looks small and meek, his mum might be ten times your size. Then you'll be up the creek. Third, don't look up. Not sure if you've seen how water flows, but waves can often send the current right up your nose. Fourth, clean your gills. They're not they're like your lungs. Try not to get them blocked. A bit of grit and you'll be in for quite the nasty shock. Last but not least, Think of others, selfishness is wrong. Uh, it's obvious, I know, but it'll help you get along. Okay. Uh, I'm keeping this house tidy while the owner is away. She said she'd be back shortly, but it seems there's some delay. Now, this is super secret, but I think you can be trusted. After all, you're human. Our kind might well be disgusted. You might have noticed there's an extra pillow on the bed. Michelle has met a human, and they're going to be wed. I'm somewhat scared of humans, but I'm sure this one is nice. Michelle's a connoisseur. Only the finest will suffice. Oh wow, you're gonna be waiting a long time. That's so fucked up! That's so fucked up! Chat, we're not even telling her! This lady's gonna be taking care of Michelle's house fucking forever! Michelle's dead! I mean, not to even mention that Michelle's been missing for like a century? And we're not going to- Oh, Jesus Christ. What is wrong with our characters? Like, if I was in this game, I'd be like, uh, yeah, sorry to tell you, but you're waste you have wasted your time and you're continuing to waste your time. That way, she, you know, she would actually do something with her life, but no, apparently my character is fully content letting her continue to waste her life away like that. That's terrible. That's terrible. Am, am I bad people, chat? Am I bad people? <laughs> yes, they do, Saiji. Humans discuss you too, me too. <laughs> Yeah, they all talk in rhymes, Saiji. It's it's a little bit ridiculous. It's hard. I'm not gonna say it's growing on me, but it is annoying me less than it was before. Can I get up here? Nah, I think it's an invisible wall. Fucking rip! Oh hi. Aw, look at the fishy. It's kind of cute in a really super ugly way. That fishy has had a bad day. Or a bad decade. <laughs> he cute? Yep. Yeah. Oh shit, I'm blocked. I can't get through there. Oh, hello. Is he fishing with a rod? Underwater. Really? Hmm, what am I doing? Why, I'm fishing for fish fit for a dish to put before the queen. I'm the official maker of Her Majesty's meals, don't you know? What are you looking at me like that for? You humans fish for fish too, don't you? Why can't we? <laughs> I love this game's sense of humor. This, this game does have a pretty excellent sense of humor. I'm the dark spawn? True. Maybe they're right about me. Maybe I am the bad guy. Chat. Chat, are we the baddies? 
Are we the baddies? Is a female angler fish? Of course ants would know. Ants! Mr. Smarty Pants knowing all the things. <laughs> we are Amarithia. <laughs> I was obsessed with humans around 50 years ago. When their ships sailed overhead, I'd watch them from below. One sailor was a singer, and he sang a sweet refrain. Oh, how I wish that I could hop on his dick and ride him into the sunset. Oh, okay, I guess that's not what she said. Okay, well. I, I thought that's what she was going to say. Uh, Queen Marina's orders are to the cause of some disquiet. When she told us we must welcome you, it nearly caused a riot. Know this, human beings. If you mean to harm our realm, I'll take this fork and split you from your heel to your helm. She's gonna shove that thing up our ass! She's gonna shove that thing up our ass and split us into two. That's what she's saying. Rude. Rude. Mermaid Ellen DeGeneres. Fucking rude. All right, let's go. <laughs> what do you need to apologize for? Nothing. We're actually talking about your really cute emotes. T-B-H. Welcome to the palace of the queen beneath the sea. Her majesty awaits you in the throne room presently. Alas, the hall is high above, and we do not use stairs, but if you'll permit me, I will carry you up there. Just take my hand, I'll take you up, as simple as can be. So tell me, are you all prepared to meet Her Majesty? Ah, uh, if we have to. Does she rhyme like the rest of you? Very well then, hold on tight, we don't want you to fall. A moment swim and we'll be in the Queen's audience hall. Well, so what if we fall? First of all, there's no fall damage in this game, and second of all, we're underwater. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, she probably takes us back down. I want. Oh, here we go. I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. What brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? How did she know that I was the prince? What? Huh? How do you know he's the Prince of Dundrasil? Okay, great minds think alike, Eric. <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. You love a fish but queen? Yes. love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the item that you seek. Where's she gonna pull it out of, though? Oh, she's gonna pull it out of her JJ. Got it. Behold the shining sphere of green, the orb you humans need. I thought it was. The treasures of the world above are marvelous indeed. I thought it was going to be white. I thought we were coming after the white orb, right? Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. Pray take it kindly, travelers, and may it serve you well. Nigamar receives the green orb and shoves it up his ass. Gotta keep it safe. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It always breaks my heart. The tragedy of man and mermaid doomed to live apart. Nah, Jason, I have hazel eyes. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted. And love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. You humans cannot help but seem a fragile kind to we, who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. It was the world tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. Okay, so she knows. So too was it the World Tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear Luminary, you must be upon your way. He's like, get the fuck out! <laughs> so set sail on the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on. 
And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. <sighs> Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the Tree of Life, and to the Tree return. Okay. Uh, all right. We got uh, an achievement unlocked. Yeah, she is very pretty. I wonder where we go next. It was not chance that brought you here. It was the world tree's will. No doubt she is. Some further fate in store for us two still. Oh, the world tree is female. Got it. To set sail for the tide of time that flows ceaselessly on, and if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. Okay, yeah, we already read this. All right, it's basically her lines all over again. You're repeating yourself, lady. Just, just so you know. Oh wait, no, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna talk to what's his face over here. Hello. Humans live on land, mermaids swim the sea, and that's the way it'll always be. Still, in Queen Marina's eyes, we're all equal. Her Majesty's a magnanimous monarch. Firm but fair, we could all do a thing. Do we could all learn a, a thing or two from her? God damn it, I cannot English tonight, chat. Not English. Let's go. Uh, yes, we're gonna we're gonna string them together and turn them into anal beads, Saiji. It's like the only like it's the obvious use case for them, you know. I'm doing really good. I'm having a fantastic time with this game so far. I'm having a fucking blast. I love this thing. It's, it's just so good. It's so good. The environments are a lot of fun. The story keeps taking twists and turns that I'm not really expecting. Like, I get the overarching story, but then, like, it, it'll take these little detours, and there's, like, nice little details there that I wouldn't have expected kind of thing. Um, and the dialogue is pretty spot on. The humor is great. It's just it's just an all-around really good game. It's a really good game. I'm, I'm really enjoying myself a lot. TBH. Oh, hey, we have a side quest. I was once obsessed with humans around 50 years ago when their ship sailed overhead. I'd watch them from below. We already know. We talked about that. Okay. His tiny fingers uh, tickled on the Lear's silver strings, and every day from dawn to dusk, the darling boy would sing. The s song he sang were... Okay. What I said earlier when I was talking to this girl, just completely ignore that. She failed to... M Never mind. We're just gonna... We're not... We're not touching that with a 10-foot pole. Alright. Uh, he's saying we're nothing like the dirges of our nation. Those merry medleys moved me to a state of exaltation. But after just a few short years, I heard his voice no more. Perhaps he left the crew, and now he sings his songs ashore. Oh, how I wish to hear once more those heavenly refrains. You find him, friend, and beg that boy to sing again. I guess I have to say it. Cockney style. Again. Sing that song again. Um, I will. I will acquiesce. All right. His ship was brightly colored silver gold chartreuse and pink. The word was painted on the prow. Gondolia, I think. Oh. Does that mean anything to you? Is it some sort of clue? Please find that boy again and have him sing his song anew. Okay, so we need to go to Gondolia, I guess, and find the singing person. And that was the only quest we have here. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Whee! We're gonna go get our ship above ground. You know what's interesting that, uh, actually, never mind. Uh, all right, yeah. So that's what we're gonna do. Blah -de blah -de blah blah -de blah -de blah -de blah. We gotta go get to Gondolia. Actually, I'm gonna just warp there real quick. A, because I don't really feel like doing those random battles, and B, because we are on a fucking timetable to find these other balls to shove up my ass. So, uh, just kidding, chat. We're not putting them into our, our prison purse, all right? We're, uh, they are being stored safely, though. <laughs> you giggle, snort. <laughs> I wish I could hear it, Baltimore. We already established, though, that the mermaids foam at the vagina. It's, like, legit. It is canon, chat. 
It is canon in this game that they foam at the vagina. They also happen to foam everywhere else too, but they do foam at the vagina. The thing. Um, you try to make a joke and it failed. Ah, oh, okay. It's all good. There's a there's another quest there. And maybe that's the person we're supposed to talk to, or is that like a whole brand new thing that we missed before? It's kind of weird, right? Go check it out. I am curious. I am very bi curious about this. Very bi curious. Yo, Corey. How's it going, Corey? What up? What up? What up? What up? How's it going? How is life? How are you? Chat, can we give a big old welcome to Corey? Oh, it is you, the one who delivered Hakim's letter. Your timing could not be better. I find. You're not rhyming too, are you? God damn it, Akia, you're a fucking human. Stop it. You're not a fucking mermaid. I'm done with the rhymes. <laughs> oh my god. Did we, Baltimore? I don't remember that part of Stick of Truth. I don't remember. She's a mermaid, right? She's a secretly a mermaid. I find myself in need of your assistance once more. Could you deliver another letter for me, please? This time take it... This time it is going to Puerto Valor for a gentleman who lives there by the name of Valentino. I'll get a mini medal for it. Yeah, we can do that. I receive a Honda's letter. In order to travel to Puerto Valor, you must sail to the northwest. Valentino will not be difficult to find when you arrive there, I am sure. Please be aware that my letter tells Valentino everything, including the fact that I abandoned my career as a baker to come and work here. As such, it would be a disaster for it. If it fell into the wrong hands, you must take great care of it and ensure it reaches its destination safely. What if we deliver it to her brother instead? Like... You finished the game yesterday, dude! Corey, congrats! Congrats, that's really cool. Yeah, we're like, I'm doing a blind playthrough I've never played. This is my first Dragon Quest game ever. And I am really, really loving it. Like, it's making me excited to play the rest of the series. It's just so cute. Like, everything about these games are fucking adorable. I love it. I kind of wonder if it's going to let me. If it's gonna let me deliver it to her brother, I kind of want to. I kind of want to see, you know. But first, we're supposed to find someone here that sings. Oh, it might be him. Oh, it's him. It's this guy right here. Senor Universo is canceled. Is shame. It would be the perfect chance for all the people to hear my beautiful voice. Speaking of a beautiful voice, the sailors, they talk about a voice they hear out in the sea. They tell me it's simply bellissimo. But the people who hear it, they fall asleep. And while they sleep, a horrible monster attack their ship and drag her down into the water. Scary, no? But if I am honest, I still wish to hear it. It's no possible it can be more beautiful than mine. Oh, I thought you were the person we're supposed to talk to. Ah, uh, rip. Rip. Okay, it wasn't you. I thought we figured it out. I guess that'd be too easy, right? Oh, all right, Menace. All right, have a good night, man. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. This is the first Dragon Quest and you loved it? Yeah, right? I'm actually planning on playing the late, the other ones, like later this year, in retro. Uh, and probably into next year, too. We're going to, like, space them out with other games kind of thing, you know? But I'm, I'm just curious to see how the whole series is, you know? Uh, the part where the rainbow... Oh, yes! No, that was, uh... That wasn't a stick of truth. That was the newer one. Fractured butthole. <laughs> That's the one, Baltimore. That was... That was a thing. <laughs> hmm. It's hard to believe now, but... When I am a boy, I have a voice like an angel. Il oh, this is him. Il Piccolo Angelo, they call me. The, capit the Capitano of the biggest ship in Gondolia. He take me aboard to sing for the sailors. I travel everywhere. It is so much fun. Molto del vente. Even the sea creatures come to hear me sing. One time, I even see the face of Una Sirenet Sirenetta, a real live mermaid. If you no know, believe me, go ask her yourself. Igmar tells the old sailor about the mermaid Anatica who wants to hear his song again. 
Yo, Deserto. This is the mermaid I saw all those years ago. I am so happy that she remembers me. Sono felice. Uh, I would very much like to sing for her again. But I am an old man now. My voice is not what it was. But you, you are a healthy young ragotto. Uh, you will not run out of breath so easily. If I teach you, you will sing to her my song? Sure. Grazie mille. Thank you, traveler. Well then, if you are listening carefully, the song, it goes like this. Farewell to the dearest contest stage. Goodbye, cake shop. Goodbye. I'm bound for Octagonia, my humble wares to ply. I'm bound for Octagonia by way of Zwardrust town. I'll leave, I'll write to thee a letter, love, when I am homeward bound. So fare thee well when I return, united we will be. Leaving Gondolia is not what hurts my love, it's leaving thee. How has it, how long has it been since last I am singing this song? Now is your turn, traveler. Let the mermaid hear my shanty once again. Uh, the old sailor taught you his song. Go back to Nautica and sing it for the music-loving mermaid sitting in front of the pearly palace. In front of that pearl necklace. The entire town of Venice cringes at the script. I'm sure it does, Baltimore. <laughs> You're Italian and in the city, sometimes they speak Italian. It was very cringing. I'm sure you're cringing right now, Corey. I don't speak any Italian, so... Apologies for butchering what few words were in there. <laughs> uh, many, many apologies. All right, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's uh let's teleport to the mermaid area, right? And let's Yeah, here we go, Nautica. <laughs> I was not going to sing Hansel. I don't sing dialogue unless there's actual if there's music that goes along with it, then yeah, I might sing it. And it's not pretty. There's a chat listen, there's a reason why we don't play Twitch sings, okay? There's a very good reason why. Because not it's not just that I'm bad at singing. Like, that would be funny, right? It would be funny to listen to me sing if I was bad at it. Um, it's that I'm horrible. My Me singing is like nails on a chalkboard levels of horrible. So I'm doing y'all a favor, by the way, for not playing Twitch Sings. <laughs> Welcome back to Nautica. You've been so very long. Did you find the minstrel boy? Did he sing you his song? Dingamar tells the mermaid the old sailor's story and sings the song that he taught him. Yes, we, I'm not doing that again. We've already heard it. We've already heard it. Yes, it's lovely. That's the one. The pretty little song that I adored. It seems like yesterday I heard him strum those sunny chords. But now you say he's old and gray? Your lives go by so fast. You fill your songs with fire, for you know that fire won't last. I feel that passion once again, and it's all thanks to you. Please take this, my friend. It is the least that I can do. Uh, I received, uh, Graso's trident? Okay. Well, it's, uh, like a spear weapon. Sweet. He did the thing. Nice weapon for Jade? Yeah, right? I'm gonna have to- actually, I have a couple things. I have a couple pieces of equipment that I'm gonna have to switch out. But before I do... There's one more thing I needed to do, which was... Right, she wanted uh, the uh, a Honda, or a Kia, or whatever. One <laughs> wanted me to go to... Puerto Valor. But... Yeah, I think South Galapagos, the campsite. We're gonna try this and see what happens. All right, I need to get a horse. We need to go talk to her brother. Oh, actually, we should probably save first. We're gonna save first. I need to confess my sins about all of my debauchery and my sex addiction. Oh, shit. Is her brother not here? Yeah, the guy's not there. The guy used to be here, right? Unless he was on the other side. Maybe he was on the other side of this. Let me see. I remember him being on that side, though. So he's probably gone. I was gonna try to fuck over that lady by turning it in to, <laughs> to her brother. It doesn't look like he's gonna let me, though. So that's okay. We can teleport to the place we're supposed to be going to. It is Puerto Valor. Let's go. 
<laughs> Who's this guy? Uh, Valentino. Did we meet a Valentino? I don't. I don't remember. I've only gone and lost every penny I had at the bleeding casino. I came here all the way from Eliador to see if I could turn me grubby old life around. But it's probably just gonna get even grubbier from now on. Yep. Yep, you did that to yourself, buddy. Sorry. You are on holiday here, see? Perhaps I could interest you in a souvenir to take home? Sure. Whoops. No, we don't want the gold rosary. No! Fuck! Alright, here we go. <laughs> Um, hmm. maybe, maybe the quest text will actually help me here. Give me a clue as far as who to talk to. An even lovelier letter. Uh, that's it. That's all we have. I need to talk to someone named Valentino. Oh, I didn't even fucking see this guy. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. All right. Okay, you are searching for a man by the name of Valentino, then senor, you have found him. Fucking finally. Fucking finally. All right. Give a Honda's letter to Valentino? Sure. We'll give a Honda's letter to Valentino. A letter for me? There is only one person who would write me a letter. It is from Akia in Gondolia, see? I, it has been a very long time. Let me see what she has to say. Dear Doctor, it has been a while, has it not? My apologies for not writing since I last visited. But I have good news. I finally have the money. I can finally pay you to treat my father's leg. You must hurry, Doctor. Please, come to Gondolia right away. Yours expectantly, a Toyota. Me, querida. The poor dear child. A Mitsubishi has still not given up hope that Abu's leg may one day be healed. Ah, uh, but perhaps I should explain. As you just heard, I am a doctor. A Subaru heard of my reputation and came to me to ask if I could treat her poppy's injured leg. But at the time, I could not help her. Ay de me. The treatment required by her poppy costs far more than she could afford. I believe that is why she abandoned her career as a baker. She wanted to earn more money so that she could help save up and pay for the treatment of her poppy. Unfortunately, it is impossible for me to treat her father's injury. Please take this letter to a Mitsubishi. It is very important, muy importante, see? She must know the truth of the situation. Bigamore receives an important letter, all right. <laughs> What's wrong, 8-Bit? <laughs> hey, BBJ! Hello! Time to cut the leg off, right? <laughs> You've received an important letter. Deliver it to a Toyota on the other... On the east side of Main Street in Gondolia. All right, we're going to do that right now. All right, the fuck now, chat. Here we go, Gondolia. Zoom. <laughs> Oh, Deli, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, we, we differentiate, like, the couple times that Dylan's come in here, I, I call him Dylan instead of 8-Bit, because otherwise he gets really confu- it gets really confusing. <laughs> uh... Alright, here we go. She was up here. And around the corner, we're gonna do a reach around chat. We're gonna, we're gonna have a little uh, reach around thing going on here. Whee! Oh shit, there's a fucking invisible wall there, really? All right. <laughs> Welcome back, you delivered my letter to Valentino, yes? Well, how did he react? What? N no, surely not. He refuses to treat my father, but why? Give Akia the important letter? Sure. Hand over the important letter. Hmm. This letter is not addressed to me. It is addressed to Valentino, and the sender is... Uh, my father? Why is my father sending letters to Valentino? And why are you delivering them to me? Perhaps things will become clearer if I read it. Let me see. Dr. Valentino, I have heard that my daughter visited you and asked you to treat my leg. You must do something for me, doctor. 
If a Honda offers to pay for my treatment, I would ask that you refuse. Uh, I would also ask that you give her the few coins which I enclose in this envelope. Tell her that they are to help her fellow, help her follow her dream of becoming a baker. I have saved up this small sum through my work in the stables in the hope that I might help my dear daughter. I have been a terrible father to my children. Nothing I do will ever change that, but I would like to try and help in this at least. Thank you, doctor. Your humble servant, Abu. I, I see. My father knew about my plan. In truth, I thought he had forgotten all about me. But it seems my career means a great deal to him. And here I am, having abandoned it all in order to try and help him. I was... He was thinking of me all along. But why would... Why make his feelings known through such roundabout means? I must thank you for bringing me this letter. It has brought my father and I together again, if only indirectly. Please accept the small token of my gratitude. Hey, you got that mini medal. Gimme. Give me that fucking mini medal. Wow. Wow, man, yeah. The doctor and her father are secret lovers. Yeah, I'm all about that. <laughs> well, we got 10 mini medals so far. Sweet. Sweet. All right, uh, what are we off to now? 